So then, Metro March. Annual event. Everyone builds the Metro stuff. And I think now's a good time as I need to do a video on this guy. I've shared him online before, I think, on Reddit because of all the places. But, uh, you know, this is my take on the Metro body type. So, first things first, let's uh, bring him in a little, show some of the improvements. So. I'd say the big one is the shoulders here. I've raised the shoulder line and basically in doing so raised just about everything else. And so now due to the uh, new construction the shoulders have all the old range along with uh, a, good, a good amount of butterfly and a good amount of sort of open tilt. Oh god. I, I started it. I had to finish it now. Yep. This is already, this video is already cursed. So, so yeah, shoulders like that. Um, aside from that, there's some sort of added details. Um, you probably notice there's a lot of friction extenders on this one, just to uh, fine tune the proportions. Just lengthen the arms ever so slightly, bring them more in line with the uh, rest of the build. Crucial thing with the neck, and the only thing I really wanted from the neck sort of region was the ability to look all the way up. The flight pillars, and speaking of that, let's reposition the swords, which you probably noticed have been modified as well. Lighting, please, thank you. Oh, yeah, this gear is still here, it no longer serves any purpose, but spinny. And now, um, yep. Sorry, I got stuff off camera for size comparison later. That's complicating this a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, legs exactly the same, just with uh, some little fillers on the back there. Feet again, just filler pieces. And you know, friction extenders. The rest of the torso is where things start to get a little weirder because the uh, chest play, the chest play, blah, 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 blah. the chest piece now sticks out a little further, and there's sort of various uh, gubbins added on to accommodate that, and make that look as good as it could. This is honestly a happy accident that these um, winch pieces fit in there so well. I don't normally open these videos with a build, but this guy's been built for a little while. Whenever I get around right to picking up another mesh, I'll probably do another build video. So, weapons then. As you can see, a uh, few alterations made. <laughs> this way they can peg in a couple of different spots in the back as you saw for storage and flight, and more importantly, they can be held in a much more natural way, because uh, the old way of holding swords, which was, for those of you who are forgetting, like this, it just feels a little, um... Ah, oh, what's the word? Italian. So. Size comparison then. Now that I've got him, uh, Sufficiently tooled up. Let's get him into something resembling a pose. Now... That doesn't resemble anything. And yeah, it'll do. That's close enough. I should always just bring the sword in a little. Yeah, there we go. So, size comparison then. Uh, a couple of familiar faces, first things first. Kapaka. Let's just uh, adjust the camera. Whoop. Move this back. Whoop. Just this back. Just this. Yep. Okay, so. I like the idea of the Mata being kind of built to be taller, so they're a lot kind of bigger and tougher looking, if that makes sense. The Metro are much more kind of agile and slim. Which, you know, partly just due to the, their original design feeling a lot slimmer. Also because they're kind of the city version there. I don't need to survive in the wilderness. You know, the slim and light urban tour. New from Ikea. No, no, he's the one that needs to stay for this comparison, isn't he? 
And then the relevant one, if I can fit him in here, just. So, with the Hodika, I'm the first to admit, it feels a little odd at first, but like, then you bring Kapaka out of the way, and you realise that he's a very thin boy. And the camera here is built a lot thicker and a lot more hunchbacked. You know, like, he's all vertical, he's got his muscles going in every direction at once. He's a very strong boy. So, finish up the size comparison then. Let's bring Kapaka back in. Not sure where that pose is now, I'm regretting that. And let's bring in someone who you won't be seeing again for a little while, just to, uh, again, compare. Move Kapaka back out of the way, move the Kamahodika from our direct side by side. And as you can see, he is much taller than the only current Le Matoran I have. Which makes sense, he's a teller. I like the idea that the Taro are just these absolute giants, you know, like... I like it adds a lot to their whole mythos. So, that, I believe, covers things for Matteo here. You've seen the build. Uh, you can probably figure out half of it for yourself, to be honest, given that a lot of it is just slight modifications to the original Metro. It's with the, you know, filler pieces, this, this, some other stuff going on. And the reason for this mostly is that the Metro build was already my favourite tower body type, you know? Like, how can you improve on something that's already pretty much perfect? I could have done the route of just doing the um, more traditional arms, which is like an inversion of this, where it, pre it uh, preserves the gear function and does a few other things as well, but like, nah. The gear function is nice, don't get me wrong, but like, I do prefer having stuff like butterfly joints for the shoulders. It gives you a lot more kind of subtle posing options. So, uh, I will see you guys next month with uh, another revamp. That one's already been filmed, just wanted to get this one up first for the sake of uh, going back to chronological order-ish of um, Mata, Matru, Hordika. So, I'll see you guys next month for another Toa, question mark. <laughs>